going on guys? J Flesh Tanks Fluvo Flora. Reaquascaped, resubstrated. Uh using a plant in this tank, guys, that I've not used in like a I don't know, I guess you could say display tank in my house. I've had this subwasser tank, it's a freshwater algae. I've had it for about four months now. I got uh maybe like two golf ball size of it. Yeah, about two, two about two two golf ball size portions. Uh, I have probably two to three times this much still downstairs, so I'm not going to, you know, I made a video, don't put all plant, if you have multiple tanks, don't put all one plant that you really want that you can't get a hold of on a regular basis in that tank and then watch it die. So um, that's what I did. I put it in a couple different tanks and now I have enough that I can put it in, um, a di I guess you could say a display tank. Very cool plant, guys. Does not attach itself to rocks, but the cool thing about it is it does not float. Uh, so all this stuff is none of this is tied down, guys. It's all just stuck in crevices throughout the uh, the uh, lace rock. I almost forgot what it was again. That's what was in the twenty long. Somebody said dragonstone. It's lace rock, guys. That's what's available to me locally, so that's what I use. You can pick out real good pieces of lace rock. So uh, don't don't discount lace rock. In, in a planted tank guys if you look hard enough you can find a bunch of cool place uh, pieces to use in the tank so back to this subwasser tang love the plant so far it's got a good green to it like off centers this which I'm trying something new with this plant this is golden Adelia. read an article that you can get it to carpet I don't know how much I believe in that but I'm gonna get it to carpet uh, even if it grows tall and I have to trim it all back again and plug it it's gonna carpet it's gonna be the carpet so I'm gonna make it carpet no matter what even if I'm messing around with it a, a ton to get it to do it because I like the contrast in colors red green and then like almost a yellowy green so that's what's going on with this uh, what else we got neon tetras are in this tank there's five I lost one when I redid the tank which isn't horribly bad, but it still sucks. So I'll probably pick up another 10 dozen, put them in this tank. I got something really cool I'm going to do with this plant, though, real quick. Watch out for that. I'm going to actually be tying it to some rocks. Just You're going to have to tune in for that. When that comes, it's going to look sweet. Uh, what else we got? Stuff downstairs in the fish room. It's coming soon, guys. Four, six, eight weeks. It'll be complete. Lots of new tanks, uh, racking system, lots of cool stuff. I'll get into all that stuff as I start doing it. I'm just kind of trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to do it and, you know, figure out the time. You know, working a full-time job, three kids, a wife, and uh, fish tanks, you got to find time to, to do little side projects to add to your, your hobby. So uh, if you got any questions for me, jfleshtanks1980 at gmail.com. If you want to see what this looks like with no plants in it, go follow me on Instagram, jfleshtanks. Anybody that's not on Instagram, you guys should go over there and check it out. There's like a good community of fish tankers taking photos. I love just flipping through and checking out everybody's tanks and photos. It's it's awesome. And uh, you guys know where to get plants. Fireupaquatics.net and jflesh, Mr. Mom. Later, guys.